Alright you guys, welcome to episode 4 of Life is Strange, Dark Room, obviously is the name of this episode. Uh, first off, I'm going to say that there's probably some triggering stuff in this episode, or at least that's what I've heard. And um, a lot of people are, uh, I'm not exactly sure the word for it, uh, they're very shocked by a lot that's happening in this episode. At this point, I don't know what happens, but I just know that it can be triggering for some people, so before that episode, depending on if it's this video or the next video or however many videos I choose to do, I will put a warning at the beginning of the episode just so you know that this is the episode that contains whatever it is that people are saying is uh, potentially triggering for some people. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. And once again, like I said, I'm going to try to search and find things, but typically I don't find it because I, I, I usually want to play this game the first time that I play the episode, I play it for my channel. So just know that I always go back and I find stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Alright, episode 4, Dark Room. Kinda nervous. 
I don't know how they can keep stepping it up every episode, but they seem to be doing a good job of it. Oh no. I feel really bad. It's not even my fault. I didn't do this. Are they not talking? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh... Blame him? Wait. Well, I, I don't understand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I already feel like this is a big decision. It's just like the first one. Talk about the accident. Blame William. Uh, talk about the accident. I'm not gonna blame her dad. Look at her. She's just like, yeah. Yeah? Okay, it's okay. Just take your time. Uh, but... But Max, are you, are you gonna answer me? <laughs> I guess not. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Okay, wait. So Rachel is still missing in this timeline? Or is it somebody else? L let me say what missing girl. Let me just be safe. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for a family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken.
So wait, in this timeline, Kate could still be alive, right? I feel like that's that's possible. It's gotta be. Plus, I really liked Kate. She better freaking be alive. Everybody better freaking be alive. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe. You're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Uh, for, uh, okay, I'm not gonna say anything. Oh my god, don't! I'll find the water. I'll find the water. That's not the one. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. I didn't do it! <laughs> she still has the snow dough thing. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. I mean, that's not too many. Plus, snow globes is a cool thing to collect. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Yeah, she's so different. That's a serious heat lamp. I don't know how to explain it. She's so different, that's but the same. so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Yeah. Can I... Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Okay, Max, you... Don't say stuff like that. Okay. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Um, that is not something that I... Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. I really do feel horrible right now, like, good grief. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. Read it. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Aw. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. It says it's from Megan. Now that I'm here for you, if you need anything, I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. I'm so sorry for what happened. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand a lot. I really don't understand why I read those uh, sentences out of order. <laughs> but it's okay. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Hmm. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Okay. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. There's the old Chloe. Yeah, Chloe. Oh, the water's right here. Uh, give me a second. I think she can. She's okay. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. She's freaking coughing. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. 
E yeah. Okay. I'm actually getting kind of nervous, so I'm going to give her the water now. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? <laughs> I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Seems like yesterday. Actually, you're right. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Hmm. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Uh, are you lonely? They love you. Are they okay? They love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Uh, can they pay or a bet? I feel like can they pay is like me being like really nosy. Okay. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Aww. I think she's gonna fall asleep, to be honest. <laughs> she looks really sleepy. Okay, well... What are we gonna do exactly? Are we leaving so that we can... Oh, no, no, no. We're going into the drawers. Let's search. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Good job, me. Let's keep, uh, searching, though. Is it the same drawer? I think it was. Let's just open this one, too. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Aww. Okay, so we do have the DVD. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything at all. Because I suck at this and you guys know it. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. Holy cow. She could have gone to any college. Things are a changing. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund, even if it wasn't another reality. All right, you guys, hopefully you are reading that. It's kind of like, uh, it was like foreshadowing with the, uh, holy cow, with the handicap fun 
and now she's handicapped. Oh my gosh. I'm wondering if they're doing things like that just to, like, purposely let us know a little bit of what's going to happen. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. Chloe. I should have kept more in touch. Stop. I... <laughs> I can't. I can't cry. I can't cry. I, li I literally, I don't want to cry. Okay, let's go ahead. Put the DVD in. Don't you fall asleep on me. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No. I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Okay. I want to go quickly. I'm kind of uh, feeling really bad at the moment. It's like, is he gonna go check on her? Like, freaking go check on her, you stupid idiot. Oh, whoa, whoa. I guess I'm the stupid idiot. Is Victoria texting us? <laughs> I'll check that in a second. Okay. Let's, uh. Where did she say it was? In the bathroom or in the something oh no it's Chloe's room this is so sad I don't want to sit I do want to sit let's see what she says I hope Chloe's okay, though. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? All right, I think that's it. Now let's click that little piece of paper. There's a, uh, what is that letter? I never heard much about William's brother.
This is insane. Okay, let's open this box. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Can we? What kind of toys? <laughs> I'm not sure how to, uh, how to take that. Okay. Oh, I'm being horrible with the controls. I'm sorry. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Okay, let's see the letter. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Alright. Uh, I don't know if anything in here is actually... A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. It isn't. There's no way stuff in this game is a coincidence. There's nothing in there. Okay, let's see. I guess we stopped growing up together. Hmm. I think that's everything in here, so let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm sure it's in the bathroom. Can I go in here? No, I cannot. Let's turn on the light. Okay. It's crazy how I remember the house, sort of, like... Nothing here. Like, I remember where uh, the light switch is, and it's just... I don't it's know. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Of course it's cool. It's safer, isn't it? I would think so. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Yeah, a lot more. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. This is so sad. I feel so sad. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Maybe, maybe we are older. Maybe it's like, um... It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Maybe it's like, uh, we're, we're dying. <laughs> Does it matter if I come in here? Oh. oh. Max, it is so nice to have you around. I apologize for, uh, coming into your space, but I'd like to speak with you. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Mm. Let's talk about Chloe first. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I... am feeling like I'm gonna cry very soon. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Uh, why would I bring up David? I guess I will? I don't know. Ow. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. 
Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Hmm. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Alright, William's still the same? Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. I didn't think it was corny. Does she care that we're just going in the drawer Joyce this is her? already a super mom. Okay. Alright, cool. She's just like, eh, whatever. Look around, Max. <laughs> Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. So they both have a book by the same uh, artist? I mean, the that is author. such a sweet shot of Chloe. <laughs> I wonder who took the picture. Artist. <laughs> I clearly meant uh, author. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Great. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Yeah, I'll see you later. I'm feeling like really sad. This game is a little bit sad right now. Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. And I'm warning you guys, uh, I really might cry.